Hi, I'm Ed Heiser with EXP Realty. Have you asked yourself the question, when will the housing uh, prices come back down? I've had several clients ask this question and they made comments like, oh, we're in a uh, housing bubble. I'm gonna wait until that burst, you know, cause housing prices are gonna crash and there's gonna be a flood of foreclosures and all this. Basically a lot of noise, a lot of fake news, I've seen and heard about the uh, scare tactic videos that some uh, folks are making on YouTube, let's just say. Uh, it, you know, they want to get the clicks and the, you know, scare news sells, okay? Before we get started with today's video, if you're looking to buy or sell a home here in the Phoenix Southeast Valley, you've come to the right place. I got my license back in 1987 and I was a certified real estate instructor for a decade. I also uh, upload a new video every week. So again, if you're looking to buy a home here in the Southeast Valley, please hit the like button, click that subscribe and ring the bell to get notified of my next weekly video. Let's get started. Well, let's take a look uh, at some facts. I like to go by the adage, if you want to find out something, you know, you can always ask the who, what, where, how, and why, or these three questions. What happened that caused us to get here? Where are we right now? And where is the real estate market going to go in the future based on fact and historical record? Uh, we're going to take a look at those and separate the wheat from the tares, so to speak. It's going to be a great ride. It doesn't matter who you are. We've all seen and heard uh, all the noise uh, for the past two years. Uh, the last year's 2021 was an absolute roller coaster ride in the real estate market. So how did we get here? All right, over the last couple of years, there's been a ton of economic, political, and social, we'll call it events in ripples that's caused, caused ripples in the pond. The massive boulder that hit the pond was the SARS COVID pandemic. Um, that made a lot of change along with all those factors put together and uh, it caused a, a tidal wave. And uh, what that tidal wave was, was with COVID, you know, and this affected me also. My son, he works for GoDaddy. He always had to drive an hour uh, to work, to work in the, in the fixed brick and mortar location. And many, 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 many companies and corporations, big and small, had changed uh, how they do business. It saved them money. Uh, but they allowed their employees to work from home. Well, guess what? If you live in an area that you don't like, for whatever the multitude of personal reasons, you just don't like where you're living, but you have to live there. Uh, again, I had some nephews uh, that had to move away from uh, their families and live in other states because their job required it. Well, now a ton of people were allowed the freedom to live where they want to live and they just work from home. So that caused this huge shift in population where people are selling homes, which we've all heard, but California is not the only place people are moving here to the Phoenix Valley for, um, from California. They're moving from Oregon, Washington. I've had clients from everywhere. Uh, a lot of the cold states too, you know, uh, Michigan, Minnesota, Montana. And so these people in a lot of these areas, let's say take California, it's the big example, a standard, simple three bedroom, two bath home costs anywhere, you know, six, seven, eight, 1.2 million. When uh, they sell those homes, they have a, some have a lot of equity. So they can now move to a place that they, desired to move to where the economy isn't as high, the cost of living, and the home prices aren't as high. 
So that causes a flood of demand in the market. And uh, when you have a big demand, supply drops. When supply drops, prices go up. That's economics 101. Supply, demand, increases price. So right now we're like this. We have a huge demand. And right now we're still 25, 30% demand more than normal. And our supply is incredibly low. Uh, normal is a six month home supply. So what does that mean a six month home supply? Well, it means if right now we stop putting new listings of homes on the market and we bring no more homes on the market, will supply and demand, the demand for the supply would mean that we would run out of supply in six months with adding no new homes. At the peak of demand just recently, we were down to a couple week supply and demand. So the demand, if we didn't bring any new homes on the market, we'd run out of supply in one to two weeks. That is phenomenal if you're selling your home, but it wreaks havoc to buyers. Thus, when a home is listed, you've heard and seen, many of you have seen, the war stories I had a client who, as an example, you know, let's just take an arbitrary number, you know, 400,000. So you go in and make an offer and they were making offers, uh, you know, 10,000 over. I had a client and I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard these war stories that they lost a bid by $90,000 over the asking price. That's been pretty common lately. Uh, times have changed. Uh, when I bought my first home, at that time, uh, you had to have 20% down. So my wife and I had to save a couple years to save up $20,000. Back in the 30s, you had to come in with 50% down, okay? So this, uh, we'll call it the traditional way of doing real estate business a few years ago, actually is not traditional, it was just the current event. Uh, where you would go in and ask for seller concessions. And what seller concessions is, is that somebody selling their home would have to pay the buyer money to buy their home. That's kind of like going to Walmart and telling Walmart, I want you to give me $10 in order to buy this item, whatever it might be. Why would anybody want to sell, pay somebody something to buy something from them? So I'm going to pay you money to buy this from me. That doesn't make sense. Well, that's all gone away. Uh, seller concessions are unheard of. Buyers are having to come in with money down now. And that might be that way for a while now. Again, markets move cyclically. Uh, and where we're going uh, is different than what it has been in the very recent past. Um, expectations for sellers are uh, right now, uh, you know, they wanna sell their home in 15, 30 days tops, uh, and they're expecting to get more than what they asked for. That might stay, that's changing a, a little bit now. So, Long story short is this is still a perfect time to buy. Interest rates are going up and that too is cyclical. I'll show you some charts. I'm also a licensed loan officer. I keep that license current so I can be a master of my craft. I wanna keep current of loan issues. So I only practice uh, real estate. My wife is the one who practices actively uh, mortgages. So. So, interest rates are going up as well as prices. So if you're sitting on the fence, wanting to wait for home prices to come down, you're shooting yourself in the foot in two ways. One, let's just pretend the interest rate came down a little bit, but home prices are going up. Well, you just lost that little bit you saved. You'd be shocked 
you know, when you're looking at your loan, actually look at what 1% or what a half a percent or one eighth, 0.125. What that really makes a difference, how much difference that makes into your home payment. You uh, might be doing the classics, spend a dollar to save a nickel. Um, so as it, uh, right now, things are going up. The longer you wait, you might get boxed out of being able to buy a home, own a home. And understand Arizona also is leading the pack in rental increases. So. Uh, as many of us know that rent, when you're renting a home, a lot of times you're paying more in rent than you would be a mortgage payment. And also understand a mortgage uh, payment, if you have a fixed rate, your payment uh, for the mortgage, your homeowner's insurance uh, or your property taxes could increase, but your mortgage principal and interest will not increase on a fixed rate. Well, rent, your landlord can raise your rent all the time and the only mortgage equity you're paying is his. So uh, what I'm trying to say is the best interest for you as an individual is to own your home and build your equity, especially now in this market. So please don't sit on the fence and wait uh, for opportunity to pass you by. Now is still an incredible time to purchase a home. If you purchase a home now, yes, as, as the property in this market is a little bit more accelerated because uh, uh, in normal times, your uh, property increase is usually about four to 6%. And last, in 2021, Arizona led the pack there and is 32%. So obviously you're gonna gain equity. It's an investment. Your home is an investment right now and interest rates are still historically low. 4%, the average in the past was six to 8% is the long-term average. So we're still well below that. So I would love to help you. Uh, if you have any questions about real estate, real estate finance, please give me a call. And uh, if you're looking to buy a home or sell a home, I would love to help you there. Until we meet, I want to wish you guys a wonderful day. I'm enjoying getting all of your calls, texts, and emails about buying or selling your home here in the Southeast Valley. I absolutely love sharing that information and answering all your questions. If there's any topic that you would like me to do a video on, please drop it in the comments below. If you found this video valuable, please do me a favor and hit that like button. This helps me make more videos like this for you. If you're thinking about buying or selling here in the Southeast Valley, give me a call, text, or email because I'm always here for you. Until then, have a great day.